So if you've recently received your biometrics appointment notice, then this video is gonna interest you. Um, stick around because toward the end of the video, I'm gonna give you tips on what you need to do in case you need to miss that appointment or if you've missed the appointment, what needs to happen. Hello everyone, I'm attorney Lee Marvin and I've been practicing law for over 20 years and I've been specializing in immigration law for well over 10 years. Uh, my main office is in Grand Rapids, Michigan, but I help individuals and families from any state in the country and really any country on the planet. So again, stick around because I wanna give you that information about if you miss a biometrics appointment, what the heck do you do, okay? So virtually every immigration process has biometrics. If you're in the United States and you're gonna do your interview, or if immigration USCIS is reviewing and is going to make a decision on your case, then you have to do biometrics in the United States, okay? So if you've gotten your notice, you know what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna go over that notice really quickly with you, okay? So the biometrics appointment notice obviously has your information, your address, it has the receipt number, it has the account number, it has a ton of information at the top of the notice, okay? Why is that important? Well, because it's your, your case. But more important than that, that information is the information that the people at the biometrics appointment is going to cross-check to make sure that you are the right person for the interview. I mean, for the, for the biometrics taking, okay? So... That is important. So if you look through that stuff and you're like, I don't know, I guess it's okay. You might want to double check your receipt notices and make sure that it really is okay. Especially your name. Immigration screws things up all the time. Name, address, critical that it's correct. Why? Because if it's not, you can say something to immigration when you get to your appointment, okay? So double check that, okay? So the notice says, Please read this entire notice carefully. Um, to process your application, petition, or request, USCIS must collect your biometrics. Please appear at the below support center at the date and time specified. Again, they're serious. They're not just saying that to keep the train moving along. They're saying that because if you don't, it relieves them of the obligation to continue with your case. So you don't want to miss that, okay? Um, so they will give you the exact address, the exact time, and the exact date for this appointment, okay? And when you go, they'll even stamp your notice. The notice that you take and your picture ID is required for you to get in there to sit down and wait for them to, to take your biometrics. Um, they verify that you are who you say you are and that you have a case with immigration, okay? Um, so photo ID, and they tell you this on the notice, the appointment notice and a photo ID. What kind of photo ID? Well, if you have a green card, take your green card. If you have a license, take your license. If you don't have either of those, you have a passport from your country, take it. They say a government issued ID. They don't say the United States of America government issued ID. They just say that some government has to issue an ID with your picture on it and your name and all your basic information, okay? That is critical for you to be able to move forward with biometrics, okay? Um, so take that with you. Um, they say only those necessary to assist you with transportation or completion of the biometrics worksheet, which is right here. They started doing this about a year ago. They have a second sheet of paper. It used to just be the notice, you would just go there, um, now they give a sheet where you have to complete this information and take it with you. If you don't, they're not going to process your biometrics. So it's very basic information, which is your biometrics, your, your gender, eye color, hair color, height, weight, uh, date of birth, country of birth, country of citizenship. All that information has to be filled out on this sheet and you take it with you, okay? Um, so you take it there with you. Um, if you need somebody there with you, if you don't speak English, you can take an interpreter with you. This is one of the few instances where you can have a, um, a helper helping you with your native language, okay? So you can absolutely do that. Um, 
You may bring cell phones, electronic devices, but they have to be turned off. Um, uh, okay. To ensure you receive all correspondence, you must update your address if you move. They're very serious about that too. So again, the whole point of this is to keep your case moving forward and making sure that you're doing what you're supposed to so they don't have to close your case, okay? So at the very bottom of this notice, it says the requests to reschedule or special handling of your case. They tell you there, if you need to reschedule your appointment, you follow the instructions on there, which you can do it online, or you can call the service center, okay? If you don't, you're done, meaning they will make you refile your case from scratch. This has happened to me with the different clients. Uh, it's not pretty. This person blew it off. She took her kids there on one day and then blew off her appointment and then was pissed at me because she wasn't able to move forward with her case. And that's why I tell people, you gotta follow the instructions. If you need to reschedule, you can do that, but only if you do it ahead of time. If you're doing it after the fact, nope. They will deny you and you're done. You gotta reschedule from scratch. So make sure that you're planning ahead. If you need to be away from your appointment that day, you've gotta plan ahead and you've gotta have a darn good reason. So if you're like, oh, you know, I drove to Indianapolis and uh, I didn't get back in time. True story, happened to my client. Client was driving home and had car trouble. They missed their appointment and they called me in transit. Oh yeah, a car just broke down. This was like, I don't know, two, three hours before the appointment. Like there is no way, unless you have a rocket ship, you can get to your biometrics appointment in time. And guess what? I said, give them a call, let them know. They didn't. So guess what happened? Game over. They closed the case, immigration closed the case, and we had to file from scratch, okay? So don't let this happen to you. This is why I'm doing this video, so this doesn't happen to you. If you're not my client yet, you should be, but if you're not, this helpful video will make sure that you don't mess up and catastrophically mess up your case moving forward. If you have questions, you can click on the link below. So if you found value in this video and you think it's gonna be helpful to you or other people, please subscribe and please click on the notification bell so you can be notified of my future videos. Again, you can check me out on YouTube, um, Instagram, I'm all over the place. If you have suggestions about videos that you wish that I have done, put it in there and I'll do it, okay? So again, subscribe and please, any recommendations, let me know, I'd be happy to put up a video and give me a call if you need any help. I wanna help you succeed.